Welcome! The name of the game is Hold Fast Napoleonic Wars uh, Nations at War. Now that that's out the way, let's join a game. Uh, we find loads of servers. Uh, which one are we gonna go with? I think we're gonna go with an army siege. Connect to that. After an eternity of fucking loading, we have to choose our class. We've got infantry officer, line infantry, light infantry, flag bearer, rifleman, surgeon, carpenter, drummer, fifer, guard. Which one are we gonna go with? The fucking rifleman of course, because they're OP as shit. After the countdown has ended, we're in the game, and it's time to slaughter some Frenchmen. Twelve decades later, and we've made it to the battlefield. There's a fucking officer over there we missed. Let's engage him with our pokey stick. Fuck yes, we got a kill, kind of. There it is. There we've got a kill. We killed Gavin. Let's take cover, and I think we should reload before we get... Ooh, that was close. Um, yes, let's reload. We won't get killed behind this rock. Rock? No, we won't. We're English. We're fucking good at high. Two respawns later, and we're on the right flank. The flag bearer is leading the charge. Unfortunately, he gets killed. We better kill that Frenchman. He's dead. Uh, let's engage them with our pokey stick again. It's a good time to mention that melee is fucked in this game, and it's going to be quite difficult to get, get even one kill. Wow, look at him go. Oh. Still no kill, um, I'm running out of fucking commentary. Oh, we got a hit and a kill. Look, there's the medic, he's gonna help. Oh, but he's an enemy and we fucking slaughtered him. And we get a third kill. Can we get a fourth? Is that too much? Oh my, I think they fixed the melee. Army sieges ain't just your only game mode. You've got army battlefields, you've got uh, coastal sieges, you've even got naval fucking warfare going on. Look at this, I killed the guy and it cost us the fucking game. Now that this brief introduction is done, I think we better get to the main part of the video, which is tips and treats with Zimbo. Unlike that tricolor mess, the Union Jack provides a substantial amount of cover when in the field. You are rendered impervious to damage. Now the next tip I'm going to show you is restricted to only the most skilled player. I cannot stress this enough, skilled player. What this trick is, is use flanking around into the enemy spawn on a forest map, using bushes as cover. It would seem that we have alerted a wild French man. I think he knows what's up, and he's got our scent. He's moving in, he's pre-aiming like a motherfucker. The best thing we can do in this situation is back up slowly. Any quick movements and the Frenchman will get startled and probably will attack. We made it to the French spawn and we found a suitable bush to sit in. The longer you aim, the greater accuracy you will have in the field. Seven days later, the French don't suspect a thing. Jumping around is your best bet at evading a bullet. It's been 20 days and the French are still oblivious to the British man in the bush. Bullets are spawned from the shoulder. Crikey, that's kind of embarrassing. Now, for the lucky few that have made it this far, I'm going to show you the bonus clip. Now this clip is reserved for the elite hold fast player. Only a handful of people have been able to do this throughout the years, and that is to form a column with the enemy team. After sitting in the bush for approximately three fucking years, I speak fluent French and I'm able to liaise with them. A couple brief sentences later, and I've formed myself a nifty little line. My newly formed line is gonna push the English back to their spawn. We will be victorious, the Emperor will be proud. Even though they turned on me, I'm pretty proud, they still got one kill. Oh my god. No! What the fuck are you doing? No! It was my biggest friend! Now that that disgraceful sportsmanship is finished, I'd like to just say that Hold Fast does have its bugs here and there, but it is still an alpha, so a lot is still coming. I reckon a good addition to the game would be transport for infantry officers, perhaps a horse, so they can get back to their line quickly. 
because everyone knows we're aiming for the guy with the lantern or the big flappy thing in the wind. Judging by the different variations in Soldier, we will be getting more in-depth people, maybe a bit more variation with the light infantry and guards, perhaps? Maybe give the fucking... Give, you should add grenadiers, we need grenades in the game. And I'm not too sure about their idea to add animal AI. It's a good idea, it sounds fun, but I don't think I want to be fucked over by a bear when I'm trying to flank left. I very nearly gave this game a dislike before I figured out how to do the void chat thing. Once I got in comms with the teammates, the game became so much more enjoyable. I would have to say the current price of 15 English pounds is quite reasonable and I would suggest if you've got the money you should buy it and give it a try. Maybe even find me out on the battlefield. I'm usually a commander leading a very unorganized, undisciplined column. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching this review of Hold Fast Napoleonic Wars. A good time to buy the game would be when it's on sale. You see what I did there? Eh? Eh? You see what? <laughs> And I hope to see you guys in the next video or stream. Cheers!